Hello, my name is Eric Dibble, Regional Sales Manager at HF Scientific. Today, we're going to cover how to do a tube change on the CLX Online Chlorine Analyzer. For, to do a tube change, you'll need a couple tools. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and an Allen wrench. To start, we are going to put the unit into a hold mode. To put the unit into a hold mode, press the service button. After a couple seconds, the screen will pop up and say hold. And what that does is it makes sure that there's going to be no water coming into your analyzer while you have pieces out of it. First thing we're going to do is take our reagents out to give ourselves a little bit more space. When you take the reagents out, you want to hold the cap and twist the bottle out from underneath the cap. We'll do that for both sides. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to disconnect all the tubes from the optical block. To do that, the first step is to take the pin out of the reagent pump. When you're taking this pin out, you want to make sure that you keep the O-ring on the bottom, because that's a very important part. So set that to the side. Take the pump hammer out of the pump. We will set that aside. And then we're going to actually take the pump off to check our duct bills. So we'll pull these down. Set them to the side. And then we're going to use our Allen wrench to take the pump off. Just set the pump to the side. So now we have access to the optical block. We're going to take our Phillips head screwdriver and just loosen up this piece in the front. Just a few turns. And what that will allow us to do, is be able to pull out the check valve. A couple things we want to make sure of when we pull this out. We want to make sure that the duct bill is still attached to the end of that check valve. If the duct bill is not on there, that means that it is most likely stuck inside the optical block. To remove it, the best way that I have found is use a small piece of floss, and you can actually stick that piece of floss right into the optical block, and it will help you to pull that duct bill out. It's really important that you pull that duct bill out before you change uh, to the next one. There cannot be two in there, or your analyzer will not work correctly. Once you have pulled both of these out, again, our, check, our duct bill is still there. You can go ahead and disconnect the tube from the vent line by simply pulling it out. And there you have your complete tube, and now you're ready to put the new one in. Once you have your new tubing kit and you're ready to go, we will go ahead and reinstall it. We're going to start uh, the exact opposite way that we finished. So we're going to take the vent line off our tubing cap and put it into our vent line. We will then take our check valves. We need to make sure again that we have the duct bill on the end. It's very important to have that duct bill in there. We'll go ahead and place it in. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, take our vent line, hook our vent line up, check valve with the duct bill on top. Then we will take our piece in the middle and turn it sideways again and tighten it down with our Phillips screwdriver. We're now ready to reinstall our reagent pump. Take the reagent pump. It needs to come underneath both of these lines. Drape them where they're supposed to go. Then you need to hold it in place and take your Allen wrench. Tighten it down. These need to be tight. Don't over tighten them, but a good, a good firm tightening that's good enough. So then we will take our check valves and hook them into the bottom slots where they're supposed to be. We will take our pump hammer and replace the pump hammer. And we will then take our pin to our reagent pump and replace it on top. Again, make sure that O rings underneath it, that washer. So you get the correct pump. With new lines, we'll need to do a flush with DI water. So we'll take our syringe that we have. We'll flush DI water through both the buffer and the indicator lines. Again, we'll watch to make sure they're getting into the optical block so we know that there's no obstructions of these new check valves we just installed. And the final step will be to reinstall our reagents. So if it's new or if you're using the same reagents, we'll go ahead and take the buffer, hold it on. Again, twist the bottle 
into the cap. And last but not least, we'll take our indicator and put it back in. We want to make sure that we have these lines in the right spot. So let's make sure we get them where they're not being pinched. And they're sitting in there right behind. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to prime our reagents. So we, not, we have it in hold mode right now. We'll press exit twice to get us out. We'll then press prime and then the enter button and it will go ahead and prime our reagents. While it's priming, it's again a great time to check to make sure all the lines that you just installed look like they're installed properly. There's no leaks anywhere. You're seeing your reagent come through the lines into the optical block, uh, that the pin on your pump is tight enough. Um, and once it does it 75 pumps, it will go into a water cal and you'll be on your way. In your yearly tubing change kit, you also receive a new cuvette. To remove the cuvette is very easy. Simply twist the top until the cuvette begins to pop out a little bit at the front. There's a spring behind the cuvette that's gonna help it pop out. So simply pull out the cuvette and you can replace it. We recommend that you keep these and clean these in case something happens to your cuvette throughout the year. To clean it, if there's bio growth on it, simply use a, a Q-tip and clean it out. Or if there's some iron or rust, you can use some, some lime uh, iron or rust removal. Uh, just make sure that you rinse it off really good before you put it back in. To install your new cuvette, use one hand to push the cuvette into, where, into the spring and make sure that you have the cuvette lined up with the O-rings and use the other hand to twist down the top. Make sure it's snug, but you don't need to over tighten it. And then take your rubber band and push it back up and you have cleaned or changed your cuvette. Thank you for watching the CLX tubing change video. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the HF scientific sales team or the tech support team. Thank you.